Yeah, that's right, that time again. The official podcast of Handball Blitz 2024, as we are now less than a fortnight away from the grand final at Suncorp Stadium. Semi-finals this weekend, uh, but we've now got just one more school visit. After this morning's waterlogged effort by our man, Mitch Lewis, who's in studio with Lockie Sands. Hello, team. And uh, you can really, as a finals-like atmosphere, you can start yeah. to feel it now on the streets, can't you? People are wearing their favourite school's colours out. You know, you've come out of winter. People are excited for handball finals. Yeah, g'day, gents. Yeah, it's exciting time for handball in this city. Uh, I, I love seeing the fact that, you know, it's some show holiday times at the moment, but that's not stopping the kids from getting out on the courts and practicing ahead of our semi-final this Saturday. Uh, it's going to be at... Uh, at Somerville House. Somerville House. Somerville that's House, that's the location yes. where it's going to be. And This is Oaky Hardwood Court, so yep. it's an indoor place. So I know a lot of kids, and I'm sure they're down at the Echo at the moment, like any chance they can, any wall, any like concrete surface they can find, they're practicing. But I'm telling you right now, it's not going to do you much good. Maybe you can train in the elements, but you've really got to start tapering your training now to that indoor precision court. Well, everyone talks about how big the Echo is. And it's, you know, it's, it's the great show that comes to Brisbane, but no, the, the biggest show is going to be obviously the Handball Blitz Grand Final in just a, a week and a bit time at Suncorp Stadium, half time. Absolutely, of, of the, the Broncos Eels game, I believe. Yeah, we've got uh, the uh, the opening ceremony this Friday night as well. Oh, it's it's going to be fantastic, uh, Mitch. What were your thoughts uh, just on on today's proceedings out at the school? Uh, I like what I saw. Like yeah. you said, uh, Waterlog, they uh, they have both indoor and outdoor facilities out there at uh, Our Lady, and uh, they they brought it indoor for us for all the uh, the yeah. camera crew, all the media that were uh, down there. That's because good. I mean, like you said, I think the exciting time is the fact that we can look at and say this is happening next week, the grand yes. final. Like finally, it's it's within that fortnight period, and the excitement is around. But what I liked about these kids is that they weren't, I don't think, intimidated by the looming deadline of grand. And final sure. day. They were training kind of like it was the first month of preparation. So uh, they weren't overdoing it, but uh, they weren't. They weren't. It, it wasn't. It wasn't fresh. I think it was. I think it was peak preparation. Well, that's uh, of course um, you know, a real commendation to their S and C program over there. Mm-hmm. They've got them. You no, know, they did a big preseason at the start of the year, straight off the back of last year's handball finals. We found out, but you want to have them finals ready. So of course, of course, they look natural. They're just at the top of their game right now. They've been preparing for this. A lot of theory classes as, as well. So yeah, it's um. People are peaking right now, and I, honestly, I'm hoping as a media team, we're ready for this as well. And I think what we found out by speaking to them today is the fact that this school itself, it, it's it's providing a lot of individuals that may go on to break one mould that seems to have stuck for their first two handball blitz champions, um, short kings and males. Yeah, uh, okay, 100%. Well, we had another. I mean, I'm gonna. He was. He's the Ivan Drago. Uh, really, he okay. he's very tall, very blonde. Um, didn't wasn't waiting for the media. Sort of standing by, just sort of bouncing the ball, sort of rubbing it between his hands, finding that that proper temperature. Uh, I'm there, ready to ask him questions, and he almost showed absolutely no interest uh, in it. Obviously, the camera comes over. He switches on a little bit, but uh, you know, he says he's. We've got to check his birth certificate. I'm not going to lie. Um, I uh, we've got a little bit from today. Yeah, well, see I whether we do. I mean. I, I don't want to know if we can we can check on the pitch of his voice, but uh, there's some questions to be asked of this kid because he's an absolute Adonis. Where's the, where's the big fella here? We've got to get Henry by. Look at him. Look, he's, he's all showed time. Henry, how is it? Henry. Uh, Look at him. Very good. Yeah, yeah. How, how old are you, mate? You're actually age compliant for handball bits? Uh, I'm 11. 11. What? Yeah, more like 21. Right? Check Look his birth him. certificate, Mitch. He's 5 yeah. for 11. If you want a birth certificate, you might have to present that for semi final <laughs> this weekend. Uh, yeah, I get that a lot. You, you get that a lot, right? Yeah, you've always been tall. This is like a grade six growth spurt just in time for handball blitz to put on a bit of, bit of intimidation factor into your handball. Nah, always. And if anything, I might need to go back to the school this afternoon just to check what happens once that final bell rings because this takes me back to my time covering junior rugby league, right? Before oh. before handball blitz, when I was still working my way through, uh, you know, the small sports of southeast Queensland in junior rugby league, and I once covered an under 15s uh, rugby league game, and uh, one of the opposition members to the team I was there to cover, uh, he drove to the game. And uh, he was, wow. yeah, wow, yeah, yeah. And most of these kids were still fourteen. It was under fifteen. Most of them were still yeah. fourteen. This kid come along. He was a foot and a half taller than everybody else, and he drove to this. I, I wouldn't. I don't. 
unconfirmed that one of his children also got out of the car. So uh, the fact was he was definitely not age compliant for an under-14, under-15s rugby league match. And uh, Henry, I mean, God love him. He said all the right things, but uh, there's some question marks around his eligibility. You're throwing some question marks over Henry. You know, but in saying that... We just have to ask questions. That's what we do. We need Mm -hmm. to hold the integrity of handball at its very highest. Uh, We will launch an investigation. Hopefully we can have that all clear by semifinals. Of course, everyone is vetted. Uh, Birth certificates have been part of the registration process. We will ask questions. That's okay. As I said... Just no. Integrity the purity of this sport is, is really what we hold highest. That's, that's why we have the handball commission. Yeah, integrity is the right word to use because we don't want to get onto grand final eve and all of a sudden controversy arrives and we have to bring up someone who didn't win their way through, yeah. but gets in on uh, you know on a technicality of the fact that the guy that got through was uh, was a little bit of a cheater. So uh, we'll ask. But if I mean if he does go on Henry, what a he is a giant. The big fellas have not been our winners the last couple of years. Well, that, well that's the thing. We say handball is a sport for everyone, but you're right. It has. It's, it's, it's a paid short, off. It's You're saying that's working king. against him? It's, it's, I think so. I think it's paid off to be a late bloomer uh, in handball blitz the last couple of years. Okay. We've had some tall competitors, and they've been very, very good on the night. Just haven't been good enough to beat those short kings out there. But right. uh, so he might break the mold, Henry. We've also had we had plenty of uh, of female nominees out there at the school today with a lot to offer, and really young kids as well. Bring us back to Henry's younger brother Noah. Oh, grade three. Wow. So we're talking, you know, that eight-year-old sort of uh, area. And that's that's not something we've seen in Handball Blitz the last couple of years. It's been the veterans of the primary school, schooling, and uh, and the short ones at that. So we could have a tall winner. We could have a female winner. We could have a young winner. Um, our lady has got a lot to offer. I will stand up for Henry. I, I, I will say there's this fair bit of, and, and rightly so, I think it's right to question and make sure that we are, we're keep doing things in the right way. But, you know, Tall boys, they matter too, and I, I hey, can't wait to see nothing against hey. the tall blokes. I, I hey. can't wait to see some of his. Uh, I guess the pendulum is what I'm what I'm calling it. Well, you know, let, of, his, of his arms. Let's think back to Alex in the semi-finals yes. last year mm. up at Nudgee College. The power game and yeah, the, the patented pendulum technique. Mm. He drove past so many of his opposition. It was only the smaller stage and the smaller court at the grand final that may have brought him undone, yeah. but he cruised through those but games. But we, we know that the, the, the stage is going to be bigger this year at the grand final. So if, if anything, I think that plays into Henry's strengths this year. Mm. So it's a, a lot going on. Mitch, I, I do want to ask you a question. Obviously, uh, the school uh, claims they're small in size but large in achievements. Yes. Is that is that evident? Just yeah. as you look around, the, I, th- the I think so. We've certainly seen bigger numbers yep. at uh, Handball Blitz uh, visits over the last couple of months in the lead up to uh, the Grand Final 2024. But uh, what I saw, it was uh, very heavily involved. The kids that were there brought all the energy of a group two, three times their size. Love uh, that. Very, very passionate. And like I said, not intimidated by the fact the Grand Final is on next week. Not intimidated mm. by the fact that, that they might not get there based on results at the semi final this week. Uh, they were like they're like it had been announced in the last couple of weeks. They were getting their hitting their peak performance. And, uh, and preparation. So I'd say that sums up their Handball Academy to a T. Do you know what I love also about the school? That, you know, they've got six entries mm. to mm. Nova's Huge. Handball Blitz 2024. Yep. Six entries. That You know, they, they say that they're a school that embraces and nurtures a sense of community. That is community right there. Having six entries to Nova's Handball Blitz. Uh, I just want to go through them. Violet, who's mm-hmm. 11. Henry, we've obviously spoken in depth about. Uh, Noah, his younger brother, who's eight. We've also got Alex. Uh, Handball is life for Alex. That's what they're saying. Yep. And uh, and well, then well, Olivia, there. Yep. Well, I, I know, I know. Uh, Olivia, who's ten, she lives for handball as well. So maybe a bit of the touch of da- Danny Rojas and James loves a low shot. Mm. We'll keep an eye is on. Is that James purely in low handball, shots. or is that in the uh, the the pregame press conference? Well, I, is, I don't know. Okay, could, could be one to keep an eye out for. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, I mean, six entries there, six nominees, and uh, look at the ages from eleven through to eight. And that's what we want to see. Boys and girls are just as keen to get. I mean, they've seen what's on offer the last couple of years. This is, this is not just a your, your backyard handball game. Like everyone mm. thinks they're good at handball until it's not the pressure is put on. No, and I think that has uh, you know squeezed out the. I'm going to say the weaker of the bunch, but it has. So what we see left is uh, the absolute cream of the crop of the talent of handball in Brisbane at the moment. So uh, it's an exciting time over the next uh, 11 days as we gear up to uh, to grand final day. Nick and I obviously very heavily involved out there. Uh, obviously, uh, 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 Lockie, you'll be there in the in the box for the mm-hmm. referees, yep. um, you know, in the bunker as well. Uh, and just, I mean, you, you're wearing many different hats on grand final night, just making sure this thing, we get one shot, one opportunity, yeah. and uh, that this thing runs smoothly on uh, on all fronts.
Yeah, yeah, and, and do you know what? I can reveal now that uh, entries have closed. Officially closed. Yep. Yep. Entries yep. have officially closed. So if you're looking to get involved, I'm so sorry. You might have to wait no. until next year. Find a competitor and get behind them. That's as much as you can get to do. Yep. That's exactly mm-hmm. what I was going to say, Join Mitch. the journey. Get behind one of these wonderful competitors. Yeah, From this school, Violet, Henry, Alex, Noah, Olivia, and James. Get behind even one of them. Put on your favorite school colors and get behind these guys as they look to achieve handball greatness in 2024 in just a couple of days' time now. It's not far away. It's not far away. I uh, just want to remind everyone that uh, all betting has been suspended on okay. Handball Blitz oh, 2024, okay. sure. uh, mainly because this is an event surrounding children, and that would be weird. So yes. no betting on Handball Blitz it's in 2024. Mm-hmm. Uh, all mm-hmm. odds have been cancelled uh, until we can get more professional we- For the next TV deal, of course. Yes. Official betting is closed, of course. Yeah. I mean, there yeah. are, there are, Mitch th- will be offering Vegas odds. <laughs> there, are, there are avenues and channels. Let's be fair. If there is a will to bet, there is a way to bet. Was that part of the high commission? It was, yeah. That's one of the key, the key findings. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Well, uh, that'll be it for the Handball Blitz podcast. We've got another edition coming on a little bit later this week uh, as we look to just visit some of our final entrants ahead of the semi-final this Saturday. This Saturday at Somerville House. Can you feel it? Oh, it's can exciting. Can you feel it? It is exciting. Can you feel it? I can. Thanks for joining. Good luck.